I'm sure there are all sorts of rumors floating around out there. Lizzie. I know you're hiding something, Shadow Lady. Ah! Oh, come on, Lizzie. You might as well come clean. That's new dog! Fine, fine. Nice work, detective. It's true. He stole one of my creeper head trophies. <laughs> my very first creeper one. Head trophies, I just really? didn't want to mention it before because I didn't want to look guilty. Wait, creeper head? This isn't about Dench. the. No, not in front of. And no, I told you, I never had it. Dan, you seem surprised by Lizzie mentioning a stolen creeper head. What did you think Torque Dog had stolen from her? No offense, but I'm not sure I feel comfortable discussing it with Ouch. you. Ouch! Sorry. Hmm. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. So, this huh. rare item that Torque Dog what? claimed to have. What is it? What can you tell me about it? We don't know. Liar! Exactly. Yeah, sorry. You're both okay. lying. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. Oh my gosh. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. People thought it was something he stole from Lizzie, but all he stole from Lizzie was a creeper head. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, right. though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but it feels like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item I is. I know what it is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. He already had me at rare item. <laughs> right. Of course he did. Oh, shoot! Gusting it! There's a temple, way out in the middle hey. of nowhere. Just no like one knows who built it, ours. but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds. Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint yeah. and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? Hey, I'm just a really good guesser. I was just putting pieces together. I don't really have any idea what you're talking about. Uh, not to be cynical, but I'm not sure I believe you. But I do think I'm starting to figure out why we're all yeah. here. Because I know that if we tell him, he's going to tell everyone, that, everyone? Have, that we have one. Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkle! Everyone, stop moving! There could be more traps! Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. One of you is the treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. There's no white. There's no yellow eyes. And that's the number two on oh, the thing. What the heck? Terrible. terrible. Who was that guy? And there's no such thing as white pumpkins. Yeah, there is. No, that's one of the white pumpkins hanging all over the place. Uh, uh, uh. I don't like it. I really don't like it. What do you? What? The white pumpkin is our host. That's the host. Well, I'm not sticking around to see how the rest of this party goes. Ugh. What the? What the? What the? No! Don't go! Cassie, stop! Wait! Ah! So much for an ice dinner. Right? You don't like the sound of that. You have the front door open. Oh. Really? Shut the door! Shut the door! Oh. 
I actually kind of want to know. Oh, shoot, I should have left it open. Come here, Winslow. Don't be scared. So we're stuck we actually in here. got. Oh and if we're gosh. stuck in here, we're all doomed. We actually got some new dialogue on that. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Whoa, well, stay be hot on that. It. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next. Then. Not necessarily. Nope, not happening. But your inventory's clean, right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Also, I'm sure I've got something he wants. Yeah, those... Well, potions. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the White Pumpkin is doing all this. I know! I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with yeah. traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. Yeah. We need to examine that place. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep Good. an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. How would you know? I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. They're already outside. Okay. How are you doing this? Ooh, White I see pumpkin? a button. Hmm, so we can examine the table. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Huh. Okay. Let's give this a no! shot. No! I did not. Frick! Just like before. I meant to examine the poster in there. Adventurers, I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just like has before. the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Yeah, look. There's a freaking music just box right behind the a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox yeah. in her voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. Well, obviously the button. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like yeah. this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What? Like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Obviously. Possibly. He's back! The white pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles. The whole show with the white pumpkin. It was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin is yep. going with us. He set up this whole house as a trap, much. It's and like now a whole fun house. he's just watching us get snared in it. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. <laughs> and he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Oh, and he's marking yes. the spots. I must cool. say, I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? Hmm. We need to figure out the most yeah. likely suspects and interrogate them. Judging by the tipped arrows and these traps, the White Pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and right. redstone. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means that the white pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? 
Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Right. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger. And I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now. And I'm going to get to the bottom Whoa. of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I've got a whole lot of questions and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. more of like a police are you gonna interrogate detective. First? Uh, let's start with Dan. Dan. Is his hair purple? Uh, she sounded more of a police detective than uh, the male Jesse. Uh, creepy. And now his hair is white! <laughs> I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole ah. it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. That's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it. What? No, 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 no. I didn't invite anyone. That's not what's oh, going really? on. I was invited here, same as everyone else. Uh-huh. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? All right. So, how would you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block Champion. Huh. Tri-Block Champion? Yeah, for three years running. Huh. Good to know. Mmm. Out with it! Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, what? obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. Right. I doubt it was Lizzie. Know anything about the this? The only thing she likes to do is oh, prank. Wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No. Tipped arrows not ringing a bell, made using potions. Nah, -uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'd ask Lizzie. She's way better with yeah. that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Who's up next? I like how Petra is just end ending up being the lanky. Send Stampy in here. Is that the right, right. word for it? Hello! Uh, I saw Dan on his way out, and I don't know what he told you, but... Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total sure. misunderstanding! I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others, uh -huh. at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. Sure. It's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend! Ah, oh, come on now, Mr. Stampy. I thought you were some legendary yeah. adventurer. You want me to believe that you don't want an ancient artifact that lets you travel to different worlds? Ooh, I mean, that does sound tempting, but, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm fine with my local legend status. I'm a man of that simple treasures. That is true. Treasures. <laughs> that is true. Please, just tell me what you want to know. Mm. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? Honestly, I think it was Lizzie. He hesitated. She wanted to get it back from Dan. Don't think she Why would really you got hesitate? over him sniping her for it. Sad, really. <gasps> Stampy stole it. Oh, that would make so much sense. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic huh? arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that uh, stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? 
Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> Maybe. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded yeah. these days. That's strange. I heard from Dan that you were the Triblock champion. Me? What? <laughs> no, no, no. I wish. <laughs> no, he must be mistaken. But, um, I have seen Lizzie do some pretty amazing things with redstone. She Just kind of has. There, if you're curious. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. <laughs> And just make sure to ask Lizzie about that magic arrow. She's very good with those things. Oh, I never got that before. Him, That'd be great. Thanks, Patrick. And we got we actually got some new uh, conversation uh, from earlier because I never heard those some of them from other players. Jesse, listen. Play, There's been a lot of, of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Right. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Hang on. I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? I already know that it isn't you. Uh, hmm. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. So I've heard. Hmm. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some That's other true. world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I don't know, I think I, I bet he's it. still got it. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. What? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean right. it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No, because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? Yeah? Everyone I ask says that you're the only one with the skills here to make something like this. Okay, sure. Of the people here, maybe. Doesn't make me the white pumpkin, though. And I'm not sure I like you implying otherwise. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. All right, That's all right. Oh, come on. <clears throat> this is nuts. You had a button, too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. She's right. By the way, I really want to... Hey, Jesse. Oh. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been like going in here? here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. So hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're right. all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, Aww, it's you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time yeah. to return to the others. I really like how they try to make the characters 3D. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang hair. on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... but... I still think we need to talk to everyone yes. and Where not are your just those four. Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stanley hey. the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence enough to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% yeah, sure. And I'm not. Wow. 
Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine, see I yourself. Yeah, don't I'm more recommend in the that. safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. Yeah. However the White Pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in oh, the kitchen. I already see it. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? There are too many loose ends flying around. A lot of evidence right. that doesn't add up. We need to find some definitive concrete evidence. Got it. I'm on the lookout. All right, so I actually wasn't paying attention. Uh, the next time I see a little crate right here, I am going to be turning off the game because I've been playing for quite a bit and I actually need to get some stuff done for tonight. So, all right, uh, let's examine the hopper. Huh. I wonder where Torque Dog's stuff went when it got sucked yeah. away. And Sparkle's stuff, for that matter. Can we not look into the chest? Okay, weird. Hey, there's a hopper here. What the? We can look at the ovens. These ovens have been busy since we got here. Who needs that much food? Ooh, um... Yeah, who would need that much food? Or maybe they're cooking leather. Or, sorry, not leather. Maybe they're cooking dirty, uh, rotten flesh from the zombies to turn into leather. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer yep. inspection. And pa punch. Whoops. Oh! Some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? I think I know. Okay, everyone. Make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion yep. covered arrows. Nasty. I bet but if we open that dispenser, it has like. The white pumpkin killed uh. Yeah. And how he's getting around 50, the house. Two, fifty, four arrows. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway. I think we've come too far to turn yeah. around now. Well, after you then. Come on. And there's the box. Achievement unlocked. Killer instincts. I hope Dan's okay. Locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. Alright, that is it, everyone. Oh my gosh, I've been recording for so long. Oh. I really thought that would be just 45 minutes, because that's the way how everyone's been playing it. I guess they're cutting stuff out or something. I don't know. Uh, anyways. I think that is it, everyone. I'm gonna head out. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube!